Hi, Pete the Gadget Guy. And lucky me, I'm here with all the hype, all the clamour has been about the new 3GS iPhone. I've got a model here from Apple and I've got to tell you, I'm really impressed. Let me go through some of the features with you. Now, on the outside, exactly the same as the previous iPhone. You virtually can't tell them apart. In fact, you know, I've got to look very carefully to tell which one's the 3GS. However, uh, a couple of things about the design and the layout. Um, Apple say that although they're identical physically, the form factor's the same, the screen is different. It's an oleophobic screen, look that up in your Funk and Wagnalls, but Apple claim that it's resistant, better resistant to dust and fingerprints and scratches. So um, an interesting uh, uh, oleophobic screen, the major difference with the outside of the iPhone. Apple claim 100 new features, I'm not going to bore you by going through every single one, but I'm going to look at the cool features that um, I felt really made a difference. One other difference is that um, the new iPhone is a couple of grams heavier, and the reason for that uh, is because a different chipset inside, but we'll get into that a bit later. So there it is, the new iPhone, and one reason, or the logic behind not changing the form factor, uh, I have to agree with Apple on this, 50 to 60,000 accessories for the iPhone and iPod, uh, so, and the iPod Touch, which is almost identical again, um, if it changed it, there would have been a revolution out there with all the companies that are producing products for this phone. Uh, so the logic, uh, I, I have to, I guess, bend to, to Apple. It would have been nice, I guess, to see a different style or design, but we're getting exactly the, I, I, the same iPhone. But it's using the 3.0 operating system, which you can load on the previous model. So uh, it means you can get some of the features anyway from the new iPhone in your previous 3G version. But let's take a look at some of the features that make this such a different phone. As I said, 100 new features. The S in 3GS stands for speed and the raw speed of the new chipset in the, the iPhone 3GS is really quite remarkable. Comparisons on things like loading apps, uh, loading websites, everything's faster. Of course, the new chipset means that the uh, iPhone 3GS takes, takes advantage of the uh, 7.2 megabit per second networks uh, that most of the Australian uh, telcos have out there. So it does work really fast. I'm running this on a Telstra SIM and I was really impressed with Safari. Um, in, in many ways, uh, just, and, and in fact, side by side comparison, I'll show you just how quick it is going to exactly the same homepage and loading an app. Okay, so let's see if the S in 3GS truly does stand for speed. Okay, now, uh, what we've done, this is the 3GS here, this is a regular 3G iPhone. Um, now, you might notice that they are on different networks, but we're not using the networks, they're both on the same Wi-Fi network. We're going to use Safari to access a website, the Gadget Guy website, and one, two, three, go. There we are. And loading up and bingo there's the web page still waiting for the old 3g and it's almost there it's almost there uh, you can see there's such a difference between the two so um, apple's claim of being twice as fast i think really does show that uh, it's the truth s does stand for speed Now, Apple's upgraded the camera on the 3GS. Uh, it's in exactly the same place as it was before here at the back. It's a three megapixel camera now, and it's a VGA video camera as well. Um, the neat stuff about it is that it's uh, autofocus, both uh, and with general shots and autofocus in macro. And now you can adjust white balance, which you couldn't do before. I've got Han Solo here in the fun and um, the Millennium Falcon in the background. Han's in perfect focus because I've tapped on him initially uh, to make sure that we're focusing on him. It's not just focus, it's also white balance, colour, contrast and exposure all set based on where I click. Now if I want to make the uh, Star Wars star attraction, the Millennium Falcon, uh, in focus, I just press here and now Han's completely out of focus and you can see the details in the Millennium Falcon. Back to Han.
There we go. And take the shot. So the camera can also capture video and one cool feature that's built into the 3GS is the fact that you can edit the video footage that you've shot right here in the camera. Now it's not the world's best editor, it's probably my only complaint about the camera. It's really a trimmer. You can trim the front and the end of your video clip uh, but you can't cut it and then stick uh, various clips together. So it's uh, and once you trim it, you lose the video that you throw away. So it's it's not saved as a new file. Probably my only criticism with the camera stroke video camera in the 3GS. So you've taken your photos or you've taken your video. What do you do with it? Of course, you can leave it on your phone. And another cool feature is that uh, the clips go straight into your um, album, and they're really easy to get to. But of course now with the 3GS you've got MMS so you can virtually text off your pictures or video, you can email them uh, and, and really MMS is new to this, the old 3G didn't have it. Uh, so the, uh, the ability to share video and photos immediately um, and in fact even load your video up to YouTube um, is available directly one touch from the phone and it is easy to use. Probably the biggest bugbear with the 3G iPhone has been battery life. Virtually everyone complains about it. Uh, the new iPhone has a different battery structure and Apple claim that it gives far more life. In fact, 12 hours of 2G talk time, and about 5 hours of 3G talk time. Probably about 20% bigger. The other factor is up here in the corner. Instead of just having the battery with a colour as it wore down, <laughs> What's up here is a percentage, so you actually get a, a percentage of how much battery life is left. The new iPhone has, I keep saying it, another cool feature, but one of the great features is digital compass or magnetometer. Now, the digital compass comes on like this and you can orientate it either to true north or magnetic north. Um, when you're using maps, you can engage it and it will always keep you facing or always keep the map facing north. So uh, if you come in and use maps after you've been using a street directory, for example, and you're a female, um, you don't have to turn the maps around anymore. It does it for you automatically. Um, there are not a lot of apps that are written for that, but I would say that um, with the popularity of the, uh, the iPhone, it's 40 million of them out there, um, there'll be apps written that will include the digital compass. Apple's introduced voice control here and um, it goes a little bit further than any other voice control that I've used before in either a digital phone or a digital music player. Um, with the iPhone, what you get is control over your contact list with your voice as well as the iPod function so you can requ request a song. So let me show you how this works. You press the home button, hold it down, call Bex. Bex. Oh, work. Okay, I didn't even get close to the 100 new features, but let me give you five more that I think are really important. The first one's tethering. You can use your uh, iPhone 3GS as a mobile uh, modem. Plug it into your computer and you can access the internet or send email using uh, the, the iPhone as a modem. Uh, the other one is cut, copy and paste. Yeah, it's been available in a lot of phones up till now, but the previous version of the iPhone didn't have it, and it does have it now. It's very, very easy to use. Um, Spotlight allows you to search your entire phone for keywords or names, um, and again, a really easy function and something that wasn't there before. Um, number four, which I think is um, really cool, is Find My Phone. Find My Phone is a neat feature because should you tragically lose your iPhone, there are two things you can do. Uh, one is find out kind of fairly close to where it is um, using Mobile Me. Um, you can shut it down or you can send a message to your iPhone asking, um, asking the person to call a number. 
Um, and of course, finally, you can use landscape mode. So um, rather than using portrait for uh, typing in messages and email, um, you can just use it in landscape mode like you want to. And you can use both thumbs very quickly. That's really made a big difference to uh, messaging and emails. So there you have it, the new 3GS iPhone. I love it.